Good morning, everyone. I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity to share the thought of the day today. I'm going to read the word of God from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4, verse uh, 9 and 10. It reads, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the Lord of Israel, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Amen. Um want to thank God this morning. So I'm just enjoying my vacation, but I just thought I would share a few thoughts from the book of Chronicles I've read. Uh, the chapter, the fourth chapter, or the beginning of the book of Chronicles, up to the fourth chapter, it talks about the genealogy of Judah. So there are quite a number of names which are named there. But what is so surprising, in the fourth chapter, the ninth and the tenth verse, there is a bit of some explanation about this gentleman called Jabez. The Bible says he was more honorable than his, his brothers. But his mother called him Jabez because he gave birth to him in pain. So, but when we look in the Bible, it says, Jabez called unto the God of Israel. He said, Oh God, bless me and enlarge my territory. And um, let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will not cause pain. And the end of that particular verse says, And God granted his request. I thank God that is a God who answers prayer. My focus this morning is on prayer. When you pray to God, God is going to answer you. Like he did to Jabez, he answered his prayer. No matter he was given a name which meant pain or cause of pain, but he went to God and prayed to God for that blessing from God, that God would enlarge his territory that God's hand will walk with him, will journey with him, that he would not cause pain. And God granted what he asked. So whenever we pray, just know that there is God who answers prayer. There is God who is there 24-7, listening to our prayers and answering our prayers. Don't take it for granted. You go to God in prayer, and God is going to answer our prayers. In our situation, in our closet, you go there, you meditate, you pray to God, and God is going to answer your prayers, like he did to Jabez, even in his situation. But he's recorded that prayer, that little prayer he made, had a lot of impact that it is even recorded in the Bible because he prayed unto God. Ask unto God and God is going to answer. So as we go on, perhaps today, let's just remember that there is a God in heaven who is there to answer our prayers. He doesn't slumber, he doesn't sleep, he is there 24 hours a day. He is there to answer and listen to our prayers. And every time we go to God in prayer, he is there to listen. Sometimes he says yes. Sometimes he says no. Sometimes he says wait. Sometimes when you pray, you pray according to his will. And thy will be done. And God's will will be done. But God is a God who answers prayer. So I'm saying to you, my brothers and sisters, this morning, as we focus uh, our thoughts and our minds, let's be like Jack Bessie. Go to God in prayer and God is going to answer. It might take time, but God is there for us. He is there for us to answer our prayers 
We kneel before him. We bow before him. We stand before him. We lift our hands. We, 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 we worship him. He is a God who answers prayer. So may the good Lord bless us this morning as we go on in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen.